Bob Key Warriors, glad to have you back with me here at the Pavilion. Today we're doing something pretty cool. Something I've been practicing on, working on, uh, not teaching in class. Haven't tried it in a contest yet. I teach in my barbecue classes cooking chicken legs either in broth or in butter. Uncovered, goes on the smoker, turns out great chicken. But I got to thinking about something that maybe wouldn't soften up that skin on the bottom where the chicken lays down in the butter and maybe give it a different flavor, a unique flavor. Thought about bacon, because we know bacon helps everything. So first thing we're gonna do before we start prepping our chicken is get our pan ready. I got a half pan right here. I got thick cut applewood bacon. It could be any kind of thick cut, but I would suggest thick. I'm laying it in the pan. Thick cut bacon to cover the bottom of this half pan. All right, we got our bacon in. So we're ready to go ahead and finish trimming our chicken. I got some I've already started before I got on camera with y'all, but I got two more to show you what I want you to do with them when you try this. How many of y'all ever cooked a chicken leg on the grill or on the smoker, and right here it always pops up and pokes a hole through that skin where the handle's at, right there? That's because there's two tendons, one big one, one little one that's like a rubber band, and once that heat starts shrinking it, it pops through the skin. So to prevent that, we're gonna roll the skin down, back down to where his foot was, to that knuckle. Just like that. Now there's one that's really prominent. If you'll see this right here, you can see it. It's like a V. I got the thick end in my stomach. It's like a V running down to his foot right there. You need to take like a fillet knife, slide it right up under it, without getting any of the meat, just the tendon. And go down and kind of pull back on it with your knife. Just kind of roll it, roll it. Look at there. Pull it right out. Now you want to grab a hold of it. Turn the blade edge towards you and cut very thin. Took that tendon right out. Now there's a very small one on the other side. Still want to get it though. Cut it back toward you. Look at there. Gonna be a better bite. Pull that skin back down. We got our bacon pan ready. We got our chicken legs ready to be injected. Now we gotta make up our injection. First, you gotta have 32 ounces of chicken broth. We got three tablespoons of my chicken salt. You got one cup of honey. You got a half a stick of butter. We're gonna put three tablespoons of my clear hot sauce in. Now I'm gonna take this over here to my stove. I'm gonna heat it up very slowly. I wanna get it just hot enough to melt the butter and dissolve the honey. That's all I want. I don't want it rolling, boiling, and then I gotta go and inject into that meat and basically parboil the meat. I don't wanna do that. All right, it's gonna take a minute to do that and do it right. I'll be over at the stove. I'll see you back in just a minute. Barbecue War is back at you. Last time I was talking with you, had to get our butter melted and our honey dissolved for our injection. That's what I did. Got it smooth. I got my measuring cup over here. This one here don't hold but two cups, but I can always add. It's just warm. It's not that hot. All right, I got my chicken legs. First thing let me do, let me go ahead and prime it. There we go. Start with the fat end, that's the only end you want to inject from. You don't want to inject down there where the skin's at, 
poke a hole in the skin. I'm on the fat end, I'm gonna go on both sides. Just like that. We got them ejected up, pull my skin back down. Now it's time to put a rub on. We're gonna do two different rubs. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit of my hot, give it a little bite, not very much, just a little bit. Now I'm coming back with my Honey Money Cluck Rub. A little heavier coat of that. All right, I'm gonna lay them on my bacon, then I'm gonna come back and get the tops. I got my bark, 3,600 pellet cooker back here rolling. Temp set on 300. I'm running my orchard blend, that's my go-to. I love my orchard blend pellets. It's got hickory, it's got oak, it's got cherry wood in it. And it's the real deal organic. So that's what we're gonna be cooking on today. Now, they're going in uncovered, they lay it on top of the bacon. Not gonna do anything to them except, I'm gonna let them cook for one hour and then I'm gonna start spritzing about every 15 minutes with this margarine spray. This is, I can't believe it's not butter. There's some others out there. This is one I like, keep it shook up well. So after the first hour, start on the second hour, every 15 minutes, I'm gonna hit it. It's take about a total of two and a half hour cook. I like to get my legs up. They're done at 180. I like 185 to 190 to make sure they're good and tender, easy bite all the way through. Barbecue Warriors, we're gonna let that thing cook. I'll see you back when they're done. It's time to get the chicken off. I'm gonna give it one last little spritz. Now you tell me that right there ain't pretty. Chicken legs on top of bacon. We're gonna put them over here on our rack, the sauce. Take a little of our sauce right now, just glaze over the top. That sauce right there, it's my blackberry sauce. Pretty cold, I love blackberries. I got 150 bushes here on my property. But try it at home, I think you're gonna like it. Make sure you use the thick cut bacon. I'll see y'all next time, y'all be safe. Remember, chicken and bacon is the way to go. Keep smoking. <laughs>